The final episode is here. Let's get that 100% completion. What is up, guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Diag Part 2 Mutation. In the previous episode, we raised a snaky grunty and a bony grunty and participated in the grunty races in both cities, both towns. I'm here in a random dungeon. And I'm going to be taking on the, completing the bestiary in this episode. As well as taking on the super boss uh, mutation as well. So I'm here to new enemy, Ancient. That's one of the enemies I have to fight uh, to complete the bestiary. And if you got an area info here, you can find it here in Lightless. Sacred Remains is a wood dungeon. And I'm currently on the third floor is where I, where I found it. Obviously it would be different for you probably, but it's where I found it. And sometimes you may not even find it at all. Just depends. As you can tell, it likes to run around and be annoying. There we go, got it. Gonna get revived by this thing though, yep. I should have killed this thing first, but whatever. If you use skills on it, you can prevent it from prevent it from running. There we go, got it. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get the GOT statue because might as well. And after that, I'm going to leave this area and we'll head to, get, we'll head to take on the, the next enemy. So I'll be right back after I get the GOT statue and leave this place. Alright, so this dungeon actually has a rare item in it. Bent glasses and the... Uh, uh... Got statue. Wow, I didn't expect that. But yeah, here's where you get it. Lightless Sacred Remains. Where I fought the Ancient at. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. I did not expect that. Where's any other rare items in that area? Maybe I should have fully explored that place. Sometimes you get multiple rare items in one dungeon. It's weird like that. Let's complete the beast theory. Alright, so the next enemy... Is shield double that I had to show off. It's right over there take it out right here it is now you can find it in bursting past over aqua field on the on the field so very easy to find and also we don't have that many more enemies left to find to be honest we got most of them throughout the game Surprisingly, because I missed a lot in uh, infection, I had to go back. I had to go back for a lot of enemies in infection, but we got a majority of them in this game. Just playing through the story. So let me delete that one. So we have to take down Martina R, uh, which is one of them. Um, Okay, we can go to Dazzling Grieving Fertile Land. And we can find Lamia Assassin. Lamia Assassin. Let's see. Yeah, Dazzling. Uh, grieving. Grieving. 
Fertile land. And we can encounter, like I said, the Lamia Assassin. And then the rest of the enemies are found in the final dungeon that we gotta go to last. So I can kill two birds of one stone and just, as I'm going through the final dungeon, I can go ahead and, uh, God, that was creepy. I turned around and saw that, I was like, what the, holy crap. About gave me a heart attack. I don't know if they'll allow me assassins in the dungeon or on the field. We'll try to find it on the field first. There's usually three enemies in the field, so we've fought two so far. It could be the third enemy, maybe. We'll see. So we fought the Moonlighter and we fought that last, the Druid Witch. So there should be one other enemy around here on the field. Will it be the enemy we need? I don't know. The pumpkin. Out of the way. At Borb. Aptorv. Aptorv and Aptorv. I'm going to get the heck out of here. It's more than likely down in the dungeon, though, if we haven't found it already. Might as well use the spring here while we're here. The pumpkin! See you later, alligator. And got the Chris armor. I already have that. Oh, here they are right here. Lamy Assassin. Nice. So that's all the enemies except for the final dungeon. Except for Martina R. Okay, let's get out here. Alright, so I'm going to take on Martina R. I need to find a way to beat her. Uh, there is a there is something you can do. You can put her to sleep. Oh, uh, with the moon. I'm going to store some stuff first, though, and... Saints Crawl spent glasses at the store because that's new. Witch's Wand is new. I've already got those. Store the Emperor's Soul, the recovery drink. Wait, what did I store? 
I accidentally stored a fortune wire. Oops. Okay, let me go. Let me buy some moons. Uh, because you can put Martina to sleep. I don't know how many I'll need, so I'll just buy a bunch. I don't really know if she has a weakness or not. I don't think she does. So I think I can get any of these spells. I don't think it matters. I need um I need a way to Yeah, this is what I need right here. Or no, this is not what I need. I do need that blood suit though, give me that. I don't already have I don't have that yet. There's a particular Bane that I can get to get rid of her magic defense. I think I need to find a particular person that has it. Okay, Beast, uh, Beast Bane right here. Uh, you can buy it in uh, Makanu. I'll get some Knight's Banes too, just in case. Um... I might do physical attacks on her if uh, magic doesn't work. Yeah, we need to go back to Highland City. To take on Martina. And she'll be the last uh, goblin to fight. Oh, wrong. I went to the wrong place. Oh, we'll have to go back to that server here shortly to get to the final area, but... Alright, so I gotta get rid of my party. Okay. And let's go ahead and take on Martina R. Testable Vengeful Gate. The final golden goblin in Die Hack Mutation. Put her to sleep. And then we want to use Beast Bane on her. Alright, her magic tolerance is gone. And I don't know how much these scrolls will do to her.
Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, you want to stay close to her? That way, when she wakes up, she doesn't run away from you and get too far away from your scroll or whatever. Yeah, against her you gotta use cheap tactics because if you try to go physical on her, it, it'll be a hassle to try to chase her down or whatever. Uh, so you want to use magic against her, use the, scr the scrolls, the moon, which you can buy at the shops, and um, you can buy Beast Spain and Makanu at the scroll shop. Uh, the moon you could buy in the Carmina Gade Lika or whatever at the scroll shop. And then once you do that, just buy any scroll, it doesn't matter. I bought, what, what did I use, like the Fireball Storm or something like that? Just do that over and over again until she dies. Pretty easy. Uh, but don't try to fight her straight up, it, it'll take too long. And we get the imp praises. Key item. Yeah, we got the imp's pen uh, in the first game, imp praises in the second one. Now what happens when you equip all the goblin equipment in mutation? Let's go see. So we did get them all earlier in the game. Just gotta find them here. Goblin cap A. Goblin melee. Goblin gloves A. And Goblin Boots, eh? Summon a giant goblin. Let's go into our dungeon and try it. See what happens. Just for fun. I'll go to a weak area so I don't die. Cause I don't I'm not gonna have a party here. Hopefully I don't die anyway. I could still die in this area, for the record. If I get paralyzed or put to sleep, I could just die. Boom. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's something cool you can do. It's completely irrelevant. Don't actually do it. It's not a very wise thing to do, but it's there if you want to do it, if you want to use it. But completely useless in pra practicality. So let's put back my better stuff, shall we? And let's get that stuff back in the storage because, yeah, I don't want to accidentally discard it or something. Okay, now there's only one thing left to do.
We have to get a party together and we need to head to... I believe Pyros is the best. Pyros and Mistral are the best to bring. Let's see here. Uh, how good are they doing on items? Let's see. I want to max out their healing potions. And their resurrect. Well, he has 91 resurrects. That's plenty. She has 96, which is also plenty. I need to buy some healing potions, though. Okay, gift. Okay, there we go. That's a lot of money, but... I got plenty of money, so it's not a big deal. And you want to add a lot of these as well. Um, let's cap out on Fairy's Orb in case I need them. Let's cap out on Fortune Wires, Resurrects. I don't think I'll need anything else. Uh, I guess I can max out on a. Mage souls, I guess, as well. And I'll also... Before you go, I'd also uh, get some better equipment as well. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to show me going to get better equipment though. Because that would take too long. Um, but I am going to get better equipment for my guys before we go. I'm just going to go and head on over to the server. And then I'm going to go equipment farm or whatever. Wait, what? Okay, let's go here then. I didn't know about this area. Rejecting Oblivious Wave Master. I don't know what happens here. Let's just head immediately to the dungeon. Actually... Yeah, let's go to the dungeon. This will still be the last episode. I'm going to do this though, but this will still be the last episode. I'm just going to breeze through this. I'm not going to bother to fight any enemies or anything like that. I'm just going to go. Well, I'll fight enemies in the dungeon, but that's it. Because you're kind of forced to fight enemies in the dungeon. There's no way around that. Uh, but on the field, you can avoid them. Yeah, all the last, all the rest of the enemies are in the. Uh... Hey, do you know about the golden grunty? What? Is that an item? Yep, it's a really ugly item. I'm collecting them. Oh. I thought I could find one here. No luck. Nope, the monster was too strong, so I couldn't move ahead. 
I just kept running away on the field and finally got to this point. I can't go ahead any further just by myself. Oh. <laughs> I'll come back again later. There are so many types of people. Get wrecked. Give me resurrects. I already have max of those. Ah, oh, great. These things. I have to die drain one of them. I'm just going to try to breeze through this dungeon as fast as I can. Because it's obviously very easy. We'll get some treasure in my way. But I'm not really too concerned about it. Ooh, got some holy sap. Nice. I need to farm those anyway. Oh great, which way do we go now? Wow, quit giving me resurrects. I don't really know which way to go, but I guess I'll go this way. Yep, I went the right way, good. There we go.
Down to the third floor. Okay, this is the final floor. Holy sap. I'll take it. Give me more of those. Less farming later on. I'm about to farm 50 of those. Alright, let's get the got statue. Oh, hello. I didn't know I had company. Who are you? Oh, I know her. Something wrong? She was in Dahak GU last recode. Wow. Oh. Hmm. I've never seen a character in that color before. Red's pretty rare. And you're pretty powerful. Um. Oh, I'm just meeting up with my friend here. Is your friend called Aseo? Huh? What? You call me all the way out here and now you want to change the location? Sorry, I just got an email saying the location's changed. That's how it is. Hey, wait a sec. Use this if you'd like. The Miru Sword. Well, see you around. Nice. All right, so there we go. Pretty, pretty cool. Saw a character from GU. Yeah, it's a rare weapon for Heavy Blade. Oh, pretty powerful too. It has critical hit. Not too bad. All right, so now I'm going to farm for better equipment. And then we'll head to Bitter Fantasy Mirror World. Where we'll be able to... Complete the bestiary and fight the super boss as well. So we'll kill two birds of one stone by going here. Uh, but I want to upgrade my equipment first. So be right back. All right, so I'm not going to go to the final dungeon yet. Oh, we will go there in this episode, but not yet. There's a particular dungeon I want to go to first and get a rare item. Known as Chinese food. Yeah, I'm not joking. And there's also a rare twin blade we can get as well. And the keywords are Caprius or Capricius Unending Corridor. And we can get a rare item, the Chinese food from the Got statue. And we can get a twin blade, a rare twin blade there as well. But I'm not going to show me going through the whole area. Instead, I'll just meet you guys whenever I get the Twin Blade and the Chinese food. So I'll be right back whenever I get them. Alright, I'm back and I got the Chinese food from the Got statue. Alright, and we still have to get the blade as well. I think it's in one of these rooms back here. Yep, here it is. Gemini Soul. Oh, that's a rare twin blade. Yeah, it lowers your attack power. Uh, but it boosts your accuracy by like a crazy amount. And that's everything I want to do here. So now we need to trade that Chinese food and we can get a rare spear. So let's go do that. 
Okay, it's the Wu Fei, not the Wu Tei or whatever. I think I said Wu Tei earlier, but Wu Fei. And she won't accept it for anything but the uh, Chinese food. And there you go. That's the only way to get the uh, Super Wu Fei. Now there is other rare items that I got, um, but I'm not going to show you how to get those uh, because that would take too long. Uh, but a lot of the other rare items in the game, like this weapon, and um, we got the axe bomber or, or the key axe earlier, eight key guardian. Blade 3000. Le Levitian. Like these type of weapons you can get from data draining. If you want to know the list, the data drain. Or the list of enemies you need to data drain to get these. Uh, you can find it on a particular website. I used uh, Lin, Lin's Chan or something like that. Lin's Chan. Lin's Chan dot Pafu dot org or something like that. And you can, it has a list of every uh, of every rare item in the game and how to get it, how to get them. So if you want to get those, just go to that site. Because it would take me too long to show you guys to dadrain all those enemies. Yeah, make sure to store your rare items so you don't accidentally sell them. Because they're one of a kind, you can't get any more of them. Alright guys, let's head to the final dungeon now. We're ready. Uh, we've done everything else at this point. We're ready to head to uh, the final dungeon and complete Dot Hack Mutation. So let's go ahead and go. Okay, so we're not going to go to the final dungeon yet. Because I still have to show you guys the books that you can get. Uh, Fire Magic's one of them. And you need to, tr to trade 18 burning oils, not 25 like the original game. There you go, 18. And you get the Fire Magic. Uh, so now I need to find the other person that has I'm gonna go to the other server and trade I think it'll be better uh, Maka new yeah all you gotta do is trade 18 in this game instead of uh okay he has a tolerance book aha uh -huh, that's what I Okay, 25 of those. Okay. I have that. Get the tolerance book. That boosts defense by one. Oh, I don't have 20. Oh, I'm missing one, really? Alright, so apparently you need 25 and 18 is how much you need now. In the first game it was 25 and 25 for a total of 50. Uh, but in this game it's 25 and 18. 
Uh, so a total of 43, is that? Yeah, 43 instead of 50. So I do have enough sports drinks. I need to find the person that I can trade sports drinks to. So I'll be right back whenever I find the person that I can trade sports drinks to. And after we're done with all this, we'll head to the final dungeon. My bad, I'm, I apologize. We'll eventually go to the final dungeon, trust me. I just gotta get these books first. It's part of 100% completion. Alright, I'm back and I found Benoit. Don't get offended by his name. We gotta trade, uh... 25 sports drinks. And we get the insight book. Now I gotta find the other person to trade the rest of the sports drinks. And I'll be right back. Okay. And I found the wood magic gun. I need to trade 18 holy saps. In order to get the wood magic. Alright, I'm back. And I found the person I need to trade with. Come here. Thunder magic. And we need to trade 18 sports drinks. Boom. There we go. Now I'll get the rest of the books. Uh, I'm going to have to sell some stuff it looks like. And I'm going to head to go get the rest of the vials and stuff that I need. Like I need 40, 39 of these. I'm done with sports drinks. I have the wood magic, so I only need to get 24 of the well waters. Or holy saps, I mean. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get the rest of the items I need, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I have... <clears throat> I found John, and I can trade for the spiritual book. I gotta give him... 25 dark vials, which I have, or cook vials, which I have. Boom, got it. Okay, and Juta has the tolerance book. Oh, you can actually get two tolerance books, I see. Or no, I didn't get one before. That's right. Okay, that's right. I didn't have enough. That's right. So let's go ahead and do that. And I have 25 burning oils. There we go. Tolerance book. Nice. Alright. I'll find some more people. And I'll be right back. I'm not going to show me finding people because... It takes a long time to find them. You had to keep logging out. And it takes a while, so... I'll just cut the video here until I find the people I need to find. No point in me showing... Showing me going to find people. Okay, I'm here at Stair. And we need to trade pure water. 18 of them. And we can get water magic. Okay, I'm here at Waffle, and he has the Black Magic. And we need to trade Cook Biles to him to get the 18 of them. Okay, I'm here at Kyan, and he has the Power Book. I gotta trade a uh, Well Water to him. 25 Well Water. There we go, the power book. Okay, next up, I'm here at uh, Alicia. And she has the Fing Shui. And we have to trade... Well water. 18 well water. Okay, that's actually all the books. I didn't know that was all of them, but that's it. 
So darkness element, thunder, wood, fire, water, earth. And you have magic defense, magical attack, physical defense, and physical attack. So you can go ahead and use those now. I mean, I could have used them already, but I wanted to wait until having them all. And you may be thinking like, ooh, one point. It adds up. If you get off, if you get all the books and all the four of the games, that's four extra points to all your stats. That's ridiculous. I don't say it's not ridiculous because that's ridiculous. That's a lot of that's a lot of missing missing stats if you don't get the books. Every point in this game helps. Trust me. Anyway, we got a new mail here because I increased uh, Marlowe's and Rachel's affection to 500. Their affections maxed. When I first saw you, I thought you were the enemy. Yeah, people keep thinking that. I'm a monster and attack me. Not that I don't blame them. Dot, dot, dot. But I don't want to be attacked by you, kid. Can't reply to that. Buy me a drink sometime for all that for all that time you dragged me around. Just kidding. I eat other people buy me drinks. You are my business partner. Let's make big bucks. Alright, that's all the emails. Uh, we literally got every email. Uh, before we go to the final dungeon, though, I want to max out Mia's affection. I think it needs a little bit more. And also uh, Wiseman as well. I want to put him in the party. I have, I have him maxed out already though. And I'll show you. If you go to affection here. Mia's at 485. She needs a little bit more. Maro's 500. Sinjiro's 500. Nuke's 500. Moonstone's 500. Pyro's 500. Uh, Wiseman 500. Elk 500. Natsume 500. Rachel 500. Gardenia 500, Black Rose 500, Mistral 500, and there you go. All more max except Mia. I'm about to max her out right here though. There's never so I can just give her anything really I guess. Um, sure, I'll give her some Resurrects. I don't mind. She'll keep those. Oh, it's four ninety five. Really? Come on. There's never. To give her the rest of them, I guess. Thanks. Is she maxed? Thank you. All right. Cool. So we pretty much maxed out everything in this game. Hundred percent completion. But we still have to beat the final dungeon, which we're going to go do. As soon as I buy 99 Resurrects for Wiseman. And let's see, I also want to give him 500 healing potions too. He has 81 Resurrects, that's plenty I guess. Uh, he has five resurrects, so I need to buy 95 of each of those. Yeah, I'll just... No. I'm going to do 94. 
There we go. No. Them all those. And you don't have to buy 99, I mean, no. if you don't want to. But I figured I'd go ahead and do that. Thank you. And make sure to have 99 on yourself as well. I'll buy some Artisan Souls too, I guess. Eh. It ain't worth it. Uh, make sure you cap out on Bloods too. And Fairies Orbs, cap out on those just in case. Cap out on those, sure. Pretty much cap out on everything. And buy some more speed charms too. I think I want to go buy some Banes in Makanu, I think. Alright, let me store um, my bottles and stuff like that. Okay. Let me make sure I didn't. Yeah, I gotta sell this stuff. I don't know why this is in here. Making sure everything's rare. Except for the gold and silver axes. I'm holding on to those. I've kept every rare item that I have. Almost half my inventory is rare items. That's insane. I might have to eventually get rid of them because I've only had 99 storage spaces, so I may run out. Depends on how many rare items are in the next two games. Uh, but I can also use my main st inventory as storage as well, I guess. So it's not that big of a deal. If I have to store rare items in my inventory, I can do that too. Alright, let me save the game. And then we'll head out for the final dungeon. Also, oh, I wanted to go buy Banes, I forgot. My bad. Uh, maybe we can buy them here. I don't know if we can or not. I don't know what we buy over here. Oh, we can buy them here. Good. I don't know if they work on the bosses or not, but I'll try. I've never actually tried to use them against bosses, so I don't know. Uh, they might be immune to it. Yeah, 
And as, as for my equipment, here's what I have on Wiseman. Here's what I have on Pyrrhus. And here's what I have myself. Bitter Fantasy Mirror World. Ah, oh, great. Hopefully I have enough of these. Okay, only cross one. Good. Alright. That's good to know. I'm glad it doesn't require a lot. Alright, so this is the final dungeon. And then we can move on to infection. Or, move on to outbreak. It's good to have Wiseman around too because it'll build the affection. Uh, for the next game. He hasn't been in my party for very long. I'm going to try to breeze to this area as fast as I can. Okay, here's King Worm if you didn't fight it earlier. Should be pretty close to leveling up too. I could do a beast bane. Oh, it didn't work. There we go. I'm not going to bother to pick up any chest or anything like that. There we go. I'm going to have to fight an enemy on every... on everything.
Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to use a soul on um, Pyrrhus there. <clears throat> Recover his SP some. These things have magic tolerance. Takes a while to take them out because of that. Should be close to leveling up though. I am. They still have a ways to go, but I'm pretty much there. Okay, new enemy here. Brown worm. I haven't fought this thing yet. It was my first time fighting one of those. Not worried about the chest. I think it's I want to clog my inventory. I'm not even going to break the boxes either. I'm not worried about it. Okay, I'm level 55 now. All right, third floor. I don't know how many floors are in this area. I guess we'll find out. I was like, this is the final floor.
Okay, the boss battle's up ahead. Um, wait for your SP to restore. And then buff up all your characters. And I'll go ahead and do that off screen. I'm going to use uh, Warrior Blood, Knight Blood, Hunter Blood, and Beast Blood on my fighters, physical fighters. And then for Wiseman, I'm going to do Hermit Blood and Wizard Blood instead of Warrior and Hunter. All right, all buffed up and ready to go for the final, the super boss of Dahak Mutation. There's something in the back. I want to get too far ahead of my characters. I have a speed charm equipped, so I'm a little bit faster than them. What the? It's acting like the boss of this ghost town. And it's boss time. Against Angle more, more. I guess I'm a tank in this battle instead of uh, Pyros. Ooh, that hurt. I almost got it. Make sure to dad drain it. Uh, don't forget to dad drain it. Because you get the Crimson Raid if you data drain it. Alright. That's a rare uh, twin blade. Don't forget to do that. That's the only way to get the Crimson Raid. And there you go. This is the thing that destroyed the city? And for beating the boss, you get the Lucky Shoes as well. So yeah, that wasn't as hard as the Parasite Dragon was in the first game. That was a pretty easy super boss. Uh, compared to Parasite Dragon. But you gotta be aware of that combo attack at the beginning. You saw that you saw that combo attack at the beginning they did to me. I barely survived that. But other than that, pretty easy boss. All things considered. And there you go, that's it. We're done uh, with Dahak Mutation. There's the Lucky Shoes right there. And here's the Grimson Raid. Let's check it out. Oh, it's got a lot of attack. It also has Blazing Wheel, Twin Dragons, and at backs. It has a lot less accuracy, but the damage is significantly more. So I, I like that. And then Lucky Shoes are good on defense, low evasion on them. <clears throat> they got no damage on it though. During battle, during best, during, wow, if I could talk correctly. During battle, possible chance of receiving no damage from enemy attacks. This is really good. So I think I'll equip those. You also get Rig Sayum and Rig Giam. Well, and it also boosts attack. I do lose quite a bit of evasion though. Let's check out the Crimson Raid up cl close. They're, they're like claws. That's pretty cool. Alright guys,
Let me store the Blades of Bond. Uh, sell some stuff. Go save it. I could probably give this to somebody, but I think... I'll hold on to it. I'll give it to somebody in Mutate of the next game. Let me log out and make sure there's no more board posts or emails or anything like that. Also, I wanted to check that one book. That's right. Hold on. I know we maxed out all the books. I'm just going to make sure book eight's complete. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. I just want to make sure. Let me go check. Uh, I'll show you guys the images that we got. Because I didn't show off every image yet. I can't show the movies though, unfortunately, because copyright. But I can show the images. <clears throat> I'll just go down all of them. Yeah, and here's the two we got from the Grunty, uh, the special Grunty races. I like that one right there. I think I'll keep that one. All right, very, very importantly, save your game. And not even do it on our multiple files like I'm going to do. And you're ready to move on to uh, Outbreak. So thank you guys for watching this Let's Play of Dot Hack Mutation. Stay tuned for the 100% completion of Dot Hack, Out Dot Hack Outbreak. And later. Well after the Super Boss we're not done yet. We actually can do some more stuff actually. I thought I was done. But we're not done yet. There's still more we can do. Uh, we need to go to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Multiple times. And you get cutscenes. Which I gotta skip. And... Uh, we get an item after doing it. There's a total of four cutscenes we can get. Yeah, see, there's one right there. I skipped it, They're so. Gone. I wonder. I feel like we've met before. You now have M Wave Master. It is added to. And we get a Golden Grunty as well. So yeah, there you go. And we gotta do that four times. Yeah, my bad. I forgot to do this earlier. I was gonna do this and I forgot. I actually moved on to Outbreak and recorded a few episodes of Outbreak and now I gotta... I'm not going to redo the episodes though, but. A bit annoying. There we go. Skip the cutscene again. 
Uh, basically, this gives you um, uh, anime stuff from the anime. Gone. Wait, could this be a player's memory that was left behind in the world? M Twin Blade and a Silver Grunty. Alright, and there's two more of them, I think. And now that we're done with this, then we can move on to the next game. <laughs> Bit annoying, but whatever. player's memory left behind in the world as well I wonder what they're doing now M heavy axeman and a golden grunty And sorry I gotta skip the cutscenes, but copyright, so not much I can do about it. Just dodging that copyright. I'm good at dodging copyright. My dexterity is pretty good. It allows me to dodge that kind of stuff. Is this a player's memory left behind in M long arm silver grunty those would be very handy too the extra HP will help out a lot I think that might be all of them but I'm gonna go back in there to make sure I think there's only four of them. I think that's what I read, but I, I don't know. There could be more. And I'll go ahead and use those grunties as well as soon as I'm done with this. Yep, that's it. Alright, so once you're done with that, now we can move on to the next game. The only way to leave is the gate out, by the way. So basically that gives you an extra 60 HP and 30 SP. So that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to take this and transfer it over to uh, Outbreak. And I'll continue my Outbreak playthrough. I already recorded some episodes of it. But I'm going to replay through the parts I recorded already. Anyway, that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And sorry that I had to come back and do more. I didn't, I forgot about that. But anyway, thanks thanks again for watching and later